we now have the full specs leaked for the Samsung Galaxy M31 and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So we had many leaks back in December for the Galaxy M31 and they've continued to flood in. We already know so much about the device ahead of the February launch and today I'm going to be covering everything. The most recent leak is in the form of a teaser from Samsung. The teaser shows us 64 hashtag mega monster coming soon and we can see Galaxy M31 labelled in the top corner. Now of course this is pointing to the 64 megapixel primary shooter that's going to be found in the Galaxy M31 and this will most likely be the Samsung GW1 sensor. We previously had reports that Samsung had already began production of the Galaxy M31 and we've already seen its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth certification. The certification also confirmed that the Samsung Galaxy M31 is going to be coming with Android 10, it's going to have Bluetooth 5 and dual band Wi-Fi. Previously we had many leaks with benchmarks, specs and different colour variant leaks but new reports confirm a lot more information so we're going to run through the full specs. The new report reveals that the Samsung Galaxy M31 is going to feature a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with an Infinity U style notch. The display is going to be a Full HD Plus resolution of 1080x2340 giving us 403 pixels per inch. Unfortunately, we currently have no details on what they're going to be using as the camera for the selfie shooter. On the rear of the device, we're getting the rectangular shaped camera module that we've been seeing a lot of recently and it's going to have four rear cameras in total. The Galaxy M31 is going to be coming with a 64 megapixel primary lens as advertised in the teaser and this is expected to be alongside an ultra wide lens, a macro lens and a 3D time of flight depth sensor, although specific camera details haven't been leaked. The device is expected to come in two variants which is going to be 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs storage or 6 gigs of RAM with 128 storage. It's going to be using the Exynos 9611 system on chip which is a very capable 10 nanometer chipset. The phone will of course be coming with Android 10 in the form of One UI and the same as its predecessor it's going to be powered by a huge 6000 mAh battery with 15 watt fast charge support. Samsung haven't confirmed a launch date just yet but we're now getting teasers from Samsung so we expect the Galaxy M31 to be launched sometime this month. Given the previous models we expect the base variant of this device to be around $200 to $250 so a great choice for those looking for a more budget friendly range. We previously had a leaked benchmark result leaked and this was for the variant with 6 gigs of RAM. It scored 648 single core and 1214 multi core and this was using Geekbench 5. Of course as always this is an early benchmark so we expect final results to be higher. Unfortunately that's all the information we have available today but if any more solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. But as always I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy M31 and if not what phone are you waiting for? But thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.